<clears throat> All right, I just wanted to run you guys through another top producing fly, and I'm going to finish this one with a detailed explanation of the weed guard. Uh, so I'm going to get started here. I'm going to add a extra large black bead chain eye to this fly. And I'll try and talk you through this a little. So we're just going to lay a base of thread here. And if you want a really good fly where the eyes aren't going to move, you add a little bit of glue here, super glue, Gorilla Glue, whatever that's dry. So I'm not going to add anything. Now I'm going to place my eye right about where my thread's at. Right, a little bit further back than I normally would so we can fit that weed guard in on the front. You need to leave yourself an extra couple millimeters for that weed guard. Just tighten this down and figure eight it. Okay. So once we get the eye, we're going to wrap back to the bend of the hook. Yeah, right about in there. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start my dubbing loop. I'm going to make it kind of long. Okay, tie that down. If you've never done a dubbing loop before, uh, you can check out my video on making your own dubbing and forming a dubbing loop. And I'm going to bring this back just a bit. Okay. So, I just blended up some dubbing here. It's kind of a green and brown. Pretty long, pretty bushy, pretty coarse. I'm just going to put a bunch of this up in here. There's some fibers here that haven't quite separated in the blender. Okay, that'll do, I think. I'm going to start to spin this. And now I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Get some of that excess out. Okay. It's going to be kind of a bushy fly, so I'm just going to leave this kind of wild like it is. Now I'm just going to wrap forward. That's about what I'm looking for, right there. Okay. Now I'm going to end this right here. And I may add some, add another dubbing loop after I've got the rabbit fur in. So for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to do it like this. Get that tied down. A little better. Okay, now I'm going to flip my hook. And I'm going to get uh, some Magnum Green Rabbit here. And the way I like to do this, so I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. Pull that up tight to where the dubbing starts. And we're going to tie this down behind the eye. Make sure that's down good. And form yourself another loop. 
This isn't necessary. It's probably just going to be more hassle than it's worth, but we'll add a little extra dubbing here to kind of finish the fly. Alright, spin that up. Now I'm going to thin this dubbing out. Okay. Twist it back up. And we're going to go through here like so. Tie this off. Snip it. Alright, now for the weed guard. I'm getting a little busy up here in the front end. Ideally, you want a little less bulk there, but we'll see if we can't work with this. Alright, now I'm going to pick up. I've got some different gauges of Mason Hard Mono, and it looks like I'm going to go with the. 16 pound test. Okay, I think that's a 16. Oh, this is a 16 here. I'm just going to cut out about six inches. That's a little more than what I needed. And we're going to look for a natural curve in the, in the mono. And this is a little flat here. This is a little curvier. So I'm just going to, I'm going to cut that end off. Okay. So now with the natural curve facing back, we're going to start wrapping this in on the near side. About four, five, six wraps. Just kind of position it in that general area. You can kind of twist it to get it to curve just slightly towards you. To get that on, what you want to do is you're just going to use your finger, push this around and up. And what you're going to find is that the two curves match each other nicely. You wrap that on and then come behind it a number of times to get a little bit of lift to it. You don't need a lot of lift. That's plenty right there. This is going to be flexible. You're going to be able to adjust it in the future. And I'm going to cut it right in that area right there. You can play with that. You might want it longer, shorter. It's up to you. And uh, that looks good to me. So we're just going to work our way forward until the thread is no longer on top of the mono. It's actually in front. And we will whip finish at that point there. And when you finish this fly, it's always a good idea to add a little bit of glue. Uh, you know, it's not necessary, but uh, it can help keep the mono in place. Now you can adjust these, shorten them, whenever you want. And this fly is a real good producer for me. Uh, with a freshwater drum, hybrid bass, catfish, largemouth, and uh, I like it a lot. Give it a try.